Hello everybody. Today I will make a video about activation of carbon. Uh, if you play with batteries and super caps, you know that uh, it's really important if you if your carbon have really good surface area. So because uh, better is the surface area, better also will be the capacity of your super cap or battery. Here you can see two carbons. Uh, the carbons are made from sugar. So this one is a carbon which is made with sugar. And this carbon is also sugar carbon, but is activated with zinc chloride. And also I have here two batteries. This battery is made, uh, the active material is, is uh, this sugar carbon. And uh, the active material in this battery is this uh, sugar carbon, which is activated with zinc chloride. So, you have a lot of uh, methods which you can activate your carbon. But this activation method which I use is really simple. So I made this carbon with 6 grams of sugar and 9 grams of zinc chloride. Mix it together with water and uh, heat it on 500 degrees C for 3 hours. And this one is only uh, heated sugar with water without zinc chloride. But instead of zinc chloride, you can use also sodium chloride, lithium chloride, uh, aluminium chloride. You need to choose your metal chloride. I mean, almost all metal chloride will work. But each metal chloride will perform different. So you need to experiment with a lot of these metal chlorides and you need to choose the best one. So I tried this uh, activation with uh, zinc chloride. Also if you want you can also uh, put together some zinc chloride for example zinc chloride and lithium chloride. You also have some uh, uh, carbon activation with acids. Uh, for acids you can use some sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid, nitric acid and so on. Uh, the, another, uh, the another activation of your carbon is the activation with potassium hydroxide. In this case you need to mix a carbon uh, and uh, potassium hydroxide in ratio 1 to 3. All this mix you heat up to 700 degrees C. And right now I will put these two batteries into the test. So this one is with uh, sugar carbon and this one is with the sugar carbon, which is activated with zinc chloride. So the design of each battery is almost the same. Uh, the current collectors are made from graphite plate. Uh, some normal paper is used for separator. Uh, the electrolyte is magnesium chloride. The negative active material is uh, uh, is uh, activated carbon, and the positive activated uh, the positive active material is this sugar carbon. The design is also very identical here in this battery, uh, but instead of sugar carbon on the positive active material. Uh, I use this sugar carbon which is activated with zinc chloride. 
So first of all, I will uh, I will charge this battery, which have the active material from sugar carbon. The voltage is 2.4 volts and the current is 200 milliamps. And I will charge this for about one minute. And three, two, one, go. And that's it. First I will measure the voltage. It's 1.3 volts. To this battery I will connect this small motor. This motor needs about 20 uh, milliamps. So the sugar carbon is not really good. I mean, if you only hit the sugar, it's not really good for batteries or super caps. Okay, come on. So the time is almost five minutes.
on this battery which have this sugar activated uh, sugar carbon and it's not bad for some sugar Yes, this have a mark. This not. And this is the battery which is made with this sugar carbon, which have, uh, which is activated with zinc chloride. And. The charging voltage is the same 2.4 volts and 200 milliamps and I will charge this for about one minute. Three, two, one, go. And that's it. And here you can see 2.6 volts
And that's it. With this battery I get the time uh, almost 5 minutes and with this battery you see 12 minutes. And this is only the carbon which is made from basically uh, from sugar. But I activate this carbon with zinc chloride. Uh, so the process, I mean uh, the amount of materials, I will put in description uh, so you can read which material I use and what is the amount of these materials. Uh, so you have, uh, like I said before, uh, you have many uh, activation uh, methods for your carbons uh, salt activation, acid activation and uh, activation with uh, potassium hydroxide so that's it guys uh, that's it for now we see us in the next video and like always bye